Hey, everybody. Okay, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna get my sound turned down because every time I check this tag, um, it's always something. I come in, I check my sound, and then all of a sudden my sound isn't working. Let me make sure. All right. Get my workspace in here. Okay, y'all, as y'all come in, let me know in the chat where you're joining from. Hey, hey. Then I'm gonna get us started. Let's see. Nice. Okay. So supplies, make sure y'all have something to paint on. Okay. And then let me switch this out so y'all can see everything. All right, something to paint on. Brushes, cups, warm water. For colors, we're just gonna have, let's see, where's my black paint? So black, yellow, blue, white, and I think that's it. Okay, so hey, hey, yes, as y'all come in, let me know where you're joining from. We're about to get started. So first, I'm going to leave this for a second just so y'all can see everything we need. Paper towels, colors, brushes. Make sure you have a cup of warm water to rinse. All right. And I'm going to just make sure everything is good. Oh, an echo. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Thanks for letting me know, Bethany. Let me fix that. I told y'all it's always something. Let's see. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Oh my goodness, I still hear the echo. Y'all, this is a hot mess. Okay, hold on. Hey, Marissa from Cali. Girl, I did not know you were in Cali. Okay, I'm working on this echo. Let's see. So, hey, Bethany. Hey, Marissa. I'm still fixing this up. Thank y'all for joining in, tuning in, and bearing with these technical issues. <laughs> okay, let's see. Stop camera. Okay. Audio. Let's go with this one and then let me check it one more time fix my audio okay let's see did i get it nope i did not okay let's see now Oh, man. All right. I'm going to keep working on it, y'all. Bear with me. All right. So I'm going to get this echo workout. In the meantime, make sure y'all have y'all supplies ready. And then, okay. All right. So let's do it this way. I'm going to get y'all started on this background. And then while we're doing that, I'm going to fix this uh, echo, okay? Background is just straight black paint, okay? So we're going to take some black paint, put it on our palette. I'm going to use the biggest brush I have. 
and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna paint the whole thing black, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this step. And while we're working on that, I'm about to work on this echo some more. So we're painting the whole thing black and then let me scoop this picture over for reference. I wish I had some music because this is the time where I turn up some dance music. I'm like, all right, y'all, let's paint. Okay, let me get this echo. So paint your whole background with black. All right, let me double check that I don't have extra tabs open. And I do not. Okay. And then Bethany, where are you joining from? I forgot to ask you that. I see that Marissa's in Cali. Are y'all both in Cali? Testing. Let's see if this worked. I might have got it, y'all. Okay. I might have got it. Do I still have an echo? I'm going to type that in the chat just in case I muted myself. Chicago? Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. I forgot you, Chicago. Okay. So I just typed in the chat. Let me know if I still have an echo. Let me know if you can hear me because it's possible I've muted myself completely and now you can't hear me at all. I'm hoping you can. If anybody can hear me, just let me know. Say yes. All right. Whole background black. Black background. Okay. Double checking, double checking. Hey, as y'all come in, let me know where you're joining from. I'm in Chicago, by the way, in case I got any newbies who's not sure. Okay. All right. So black background. Let me straighten out my camera too, because it's crooked. Okay, there we go. I can hear you. Yes. Thank you, Bethany. And thank you for letting me know right away, too, about the echo. I was really hoping, like, maybe nobody else can hear this. All right. Thanks for letting me know. All right. So we're painting the whole background black. And then my lighting is a little bright. I'm going to turn that down in a second, too. But I'm just taking my paint and painting the whole thing black. All right. So yes, if there are, is anybody new here, I am Liz. I teach virtual paint parties and classes for all ages. And I'm so excited to do a free virtual paint party every month. This is number, what month is this? This is month three. So yeah, this is the third one. It feels like more than that. It feels like we've been getting together painting for a while, y'all. Let me turn down my phone from vibrating. All right. And then I need to get into my Twitch and change my category because it just, anybody who's on here on Twitch, let me know. So there's a thing where like it automatically sets your category and it keeps making my talk shows and podcasts, I guess, because I talk a lot. <laughs> so I have to manually change it to art. And every single time, I wish it would just automatically make me art. And so if I don't remember to do that, it just leaves me set as talk shows and podcasts. So I might switch that in just a second, too. All right. So we are painting the whole thing black. So I'm using mixed media paper, which means it's going to dry pretty fast. So for you, if you're using canvas, it may take a little bit longer. But what you want to do is as you're painting this, smooth out the paint. We don't want big clumps and globs because then it'll take forever to dry. And we don't want that. Okay, so we want to be able to move at a normal pace. All right. Okay, so then let's see. I'm going to adjust my lighting real quick. And I'm using a styrofoam plate. I got some other colors on here already being used or already dried up. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever non-porous, non-absorbing um, surface that you would like to. Oh, yeah, let me get my little mood lighting going. Nice and chill. Okay. 
sun down a little bit more just because I don't want my painting to look this bright. Do I like that? Okay. Nice. Okay. This is cozy. Y'all like this light and I like it. I think it's nice and cozy. Let me know if it's too dark for y'all and y'all want me to turn the lights back up. Okay. All right, so I got that going. All right, so let this dry. So I'm going to rinse it out in my brush, and I'm going to try not to sit it on my painting. I have a bad habit of doing that in classes, and, like, it's a bad habit. I need to stop where I actually sit this water cup on top of the painting. So I'm just going to clean this out, and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, too, just so y'all can see more of my workspace. And that way you can see my water sitting here. And then I'll have my paint palette. And I taped this down with painter's tape just because I didn't want to have to deal with it uh, peeling up too. All right, so let's see. While I'm remembering, I'm about to go into my Twitch and update my category. So again, if you are a Twitch person and if you know how to automatically have it set, let me know. It was telling me that I can't automatically do it, but I feel like that can't be true. Like if they can automatically make me a talk show, they should be able to automatically make me an art channel. All right, I just updated. Okay, I just set myself this art and we're gonna see. So hopefully some artsy people pop up and say, hey, but again, anybody here, let me know in the chat where you joining in from. Let me know, say, hey, okay. I updated Twitch. So y'all are my witness that I just updated it. Now watch when this ends. I'm going to look up and it'll be like, oh, you were a talk show today because it does that. All right. So we letting it dry. Letting this flat dry. And then let's see. Oops, wrong one. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let me know what y'all doing too. Because I know that some people you may be, you know, painting and following along completely, or you might be doing some stuff. You might be working. You might be multitasking. You might have like another painting going right now. So let me know what y'all doing at the moment. I think Marissa was saying that she was uh, going to be working and stuff while painting. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One of these days, y'all, I'm going to get it going without issues. Okay. Letting this background dry. I really like StreamYard because of all these little things I can do, like how I can switch my camera different sizes and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone if I mess up something I accidentally exit. Okay, so we have our background painted with black paint, okay? Let's say it's dry. If yours is not dry right now, like it's super duper wet, let me know in the chat. If it's like a little bit wet and kind of sticky and you can touch it, that's fine because that is good enough for us to sketch over. Now I'm looking for my lip gloss. I know y'all are probably like, why is she narrating everything she did? Marissa says on a webinar at the same time. Yep, I understand. Thanks for joining in, even though you're on a webinar. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully you get a chance to paint this later. If you're not already like painting at the same time too. That'd be funny. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm that good at like being sneakily... Um, a, like a sneaky multitasker it depends if it's like a zoom webinar and people are like looking at your face i don't think i could ever do that like sit and paint and then be there too all right so nobody objected so that means that y'all paint should be dry enough to move forward okay so next step we are gonna start to create these branches. So a lot of people, when they make this painting, you've probably seen a lot on Pinterest. Um, I'm not the original artist. Cam off. Oh, your camera's off. Nice, Marissa. You scared me. I thought you said my camera was off. <laughs> I'm not the original artist for this. It's the artwork that I license, but you see this painting a lot of birch trees and a lot of people use painter's tape to make it. 
which is like this stuff. But we're not going to do that because I didn't tell you in advance about painter's tape. And I actually didn't even make this using painter's tape. So I'm going to show you a good way to sketch this out. And that is the way that I did mine. So I'm going to take my medium flat brush. So medium flat. That's about this size, medium flat brush. And we're going to start to sketch out and fill in these branches. So we have a medium brush and also some white paint. Let me get a more clean palette just so you can see as I mix the colors. I'll still use these paints because I don't want to waste them, but these over here are dry. And you'll be able to see that better. All right, so white paint. Squeeze out some white paint. And then a little bit of black paint. And then let me know uh, if you're just joining in too and you need to get caught up. I don't mind catching people up at all. Bethany says, just painting with you. Nice. Hey. Thanks for taking time to paint with me. All right. So we have our flat half inch brush. And what we're going to do is take a little bit of black paint now. I got my black on this other plate. A little bit of black paint. And we are going to mix just a tiny bit in just because we don't want it to be just solid white. If we have like a slight, slight tint to it, you can barely actually see it. And we're just filling up our brush with mostly white and a tiny dot of black. Okay. I'm going to flatten this out. We got some green in there. Another way to do this is with a smaller brush, but I feel like this one kind of gives us a little bit more control and we're not too worried about like a straight line okay so then <clears throat> we're gonna start to sketch out where these branches are going so the very first one right here it kind of goes out on an angle we don't want these to just be straight up and down because you know not as interesting that way let me twist this a little bit more there we go okay so the very first line i'm gonna start at the top of the page and I'm just pressed down lightly and bring it down like that. And so before I was telling y'all, I don't have a steady hand. So it is okay if your hands are shaky because mine are always shaky. And we're going to bring out the other line. That's probably about an inch thick. So it's going on an angle okay, to the bottom. Now, typically I would sketch these out and then fill them in, but this way we don't want to get lost because it's a black background and black backgrounds can kind of be kind of you know scary or intimidating to paint on so now fill in those lines with that whitish grayish paint so i'm still using that medium brush and we're just filling it in and we're filling in that first branch okay so go ahead and fill that in Y'all almost thought I had to cancel today because yesterday and what is today? Thursday? Yeah, yesterday and day before I was not feeling all of that. Um, I actually had to cancel one of my morning classes yesterday. I was just like super dizzy and stuff. And so a lot of the day I was in the bed. And uh, today I was like, I really hope I don't have to cancel, but I'm glad I was able to make it. Okay, filling this in. And again, I just paint fast in general. So you do not have to make yours this fast. <clears throat> so let me see some of these comments. So Bethany's just painting with me. Marissa's on a webinar <laughs> with the camera off. Nice. All right. Okay, so we got our first one. That's our first branch. Okay. And then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to pick up some more paint. Let me scoot this over so I can make sure y'all still see that. Okay. Let's see, let's see. And then the next one is going to be a thin one. So I'm going to wipe off some excess paint. And then next to that, 
it's going to come down on the angle and touch here. But what I want to do, because sometimes you can start making these and it gets tricky because you overlap them and then it turns into like a blob. So since I know I want it to come down and like touch close to the bottom of that, but not overlap it, I'm going to start down here and just go up. So I'm going to start at the bottom of that. So that way I can really control how far apart it is. Okay, it's okay if you start running out of paint as you go up. You can just brush over that. So with the thinner branches, this brush is pretty much perfect and we don't have to worry about making it too thick. And again, these lines do not have to be perfectly straight because tree branches, look, I just made that too thick. Oh, well, tree branches are not perfectly straight and it'll make it look more natural anyway. Okay, so then... I'm going to keep on making these branches. So I'm going to pick up some more paint. And then this next one kind of comes out like a, a Y shape or a V shape. So then this one, I'm going to bring it from the bottom again and go out more like a V. So let's see, this one comes out. And then it starts to separate off to the side. And then that one. Also, one question I got to ask again, what are y'all watching? Because before we talked about some good shows to check out, I'm still on the haves and the have nots. I'm on season three. There's like 15 seasons, so I'm excited. Um, but I did also watch Behind Her Eyes. That was a really good recommendation. Um, what else did I watch? I'm watching The Good Place right now. It's funny. It's cute. So yeah, let me know. What shows are y'all on now? Shows or movies? Okay, so we got that V-shaped branch. And then let's see. After that, we have this one. That's a little thicker. It looks like I'm going to go off the page a little bit, and that's fine. Because I spaced it over a lot more than I did before. So this one is going to just start up here and bring it down. And then what I'm going to do, since I've like run out of space over here, I'm going to go over it on this side and add a little more because I started way more inside than I planned to. But, you know, that's what happens when you just start sketching out a painting and not strategically um, map it out. Oh, the voice started this week. I do like the voice. Yes, I need to check that out. Oh, wait, are they still doing the, well, I guess it will make sense, but is it still the at-home version of The Voice? Because I know that the last season, once they, uh, like COVID hit, they stopped filming in person and then everybody was like doing their singing battles at home and it was on, um, on Zoom, I think. So it's like, that makes sense. I know why they got to do it, but I feel like it's not as good as the real thing. So let me know if, if they're doing it that way. But I do really like the voice. Okay, so we got this one here. And then, let's see. You know I always like to have a little something that goes off the page, make it interesting. So I'll put a little line in the corner. Oh, they're in person. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out the voice. Yeah, I like it because it's like, I don't know. I like the whole idea of not seeing the people when they audition because I feel like American Idol was all about judging people's appearances and making them look like a superstar or they have to look like it automatically and all that stuff. So I think the voice is nice to like see how people react to voices. Okay, so I have this here. And now I'm going to put another, do I want a thin one or a thick one? I'm going to put a, a medium one next to this one. So I'll make this more straight just again and add more variety, make it look interesting. Okay. And then once this pandemic is over, Bethany, we have to meet up because it's crazy that you're in Chicago too. And we've never met. Unless we have met. Let me know if we've met before at like a sorority convention or something. And I just 
don't remember. Okay, so we're going to leave this. These are the branches. We're about to leave them as is. One thing, well, not as is, because, okay, I don't want to add more. But let's make these a little bit brighter. So now, keep on making them if you're still making them. But I'm going to use this medium brush and white paint. And I'm just go over them to make them more bright. Because that's one thing about these is that you really want this to look bold. Once you start adding everything else, you don't want it to take away from the branches. So now I want that to be even brighter. Yeah, I don't think we have met. It's crazy. All right, so let's do this. And then how did you and Marissa get connected? Since y'all in like two different states. By the way, I want to shout out my regulars in the chat, by the way. Always popping up, coming through. Hey, Marissa and Bethany. Anybody else that's here, let me know. Y'all here. <laughs> Feel free to tell us in the chat where you're joining from. Also, if you're just joining in, all we did so far was paint our background black. And then we started to use um, a very, very light gray for the branches. I don't know why I'm coughing. I probably need to drink some water. I haven't had some water in a while. Okay. Oh, nice. So Bethany and Marissa met at the sorority convention, and they also did the alumni trip to Cuba. When was this one? Because, okay, so our sorority, um, they have been doing alumni trips. I've never been able to make them. I know they did a um, a cruise at one point. But when did y'all go to Cuba? Because I've always wanted to go. I, I'm sure that was recent. Like, wasn't it like, it wasn't last summer because, of course, everything was closed. But it might have been, was it the summer before that? Well, that's cool, though, that y'all made at convention. That's funny, though, because... Um, I've met a few sorority sisters from around the country at conventions and retreats and stuff like that. Like um, Emily, who is on Twitch as Bionic Bunny, B-U-N-E. We met, I think it was a Midwest retreat that we met at. And then like now we always um, talking online and stuff. And I think we hung out in college in her hometown. Okay, so leave this. Two years ago from last month. Wow. So y'all went to Cuba two years ago. That's crazy. I don't want to go. All right. So let this dry. Let this white dry. All right. And then we're going to add more details. Okay. Letting this dry. Because after that, we're going to do some of that gray in the branches. And then... We're going to do, actually, we can add our tiny little branch. It's part of the cruise. Nice. I didn't know that cruise y'all went to Cuba. That's lit. Dang. I need to get on the next alumni trip. Okay, let me get my water. Y'all, I have this giant jug of a water bottle. There is no excuse for me not to be drinking enough water, but yet I still haven't drank enough. Okay. So we got our main branches on there. And one thing we can add now before it's completely dry is our tiny little branches, the little ones that stick off. So I'm gonna pick up some white paint and my thin liner brush. And I'm gonna use that to make my tiny little branches. And so these you can kind of place wherever you like. And I'm going to like make my lines wiggle a little bit so they're just not super neat. They're going to come up a little more. And then I'll add one over here. So I'm trying not to make them uniform because sometimes I accidentally make a pattern when I really don't mean to. So let's see. 
Yeah, there we go. Get some variety in there. Have a little more interesting composition. Get my art foundations talk in there. All right. So we're just adding these throughout just to like fill up the space and make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm letting some of my lines just fade out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Y'all got some Bertillo's I cannot wait to eat tonight. I was like, I'm not going to be rude and eat on live. I would not do that. Plus, I want to be able to savor it. So I'm not going to eat it right now anyway. Okay, so do I have enough branches? I'm going to put one here to let that fade out. A little bit of interest. Okay, so now we're going to leave that. Let it dry. All right. Let that dry. Well, it's funny, too, that there's so much sorority talk tonight. I'm wearing my new diamond earrings, not made of diamonds, but it's shaped like a diamond. Uh, <laughs> and our sorority, Delta Xi Phi, Multicultural Sorority Incorporated, our symbol is the diamond. I love, love, love these earrings. They're so lightweight. They're made from resin. I got them on Etsy from Sunny Bloom Creations. Um, me and her just started talking today on Instagram, too, which was really cool. So check out her Etsy shop. I got a bunch more earrings too. I can't wait to show y'all. I gotta like unpackage them and stuff. All right, so we're letting this white dry. Our next color, let's see. Do I want to do the? Yeah, we'll do the grays and the black next. So yeah, we gonna let that dry. We gonna get some gray and some black next. Oh, for those of you joining in from Facebook too, I have a Facebook group you can join. Uh, I wish I put the the link in here already, but I know it's acrylic painting with Liz Brent. That is the title of it. Let me type that in actually. So Facebook group and a couple of people I see tonight are actually in it. So it is a place to actually share your work. Let me stop. I'm about to spill all this paint. <laughs> it's a place to share your work and, you know, kind of get feedback on stuff. Um, just show off what you've been doing. I know some people like to share like what they've been doing in like other uh groups and stuff too or like maybe they went to a pink party and that's perfectly fine so it's called acrylic painting with liz brett so yeah some groups i know are like really big into not doing that they only want you to share what you've learned from that specific artist but for my group i really want people to kind of like experiment with painting and see some different things like that's how you figure out the way that you learn because the way that I teach it may not be the best for you or the only way. I like to I like to think I teach it pretty well though in my step by step format. But yeah, it's cool to see what other people are doing too and see other pictures. So my Facebook group is Acrylic Painting with Liz Brown. And it's free for anybody to join. All right, so we have our white is dry. And so what we're gonna do next is we're going to add some of these gray details in it. So that's really going to give us some 3D dimension to it. I said 3D dimension. That's going to give us some dimension, make it look more 3D. And so what we're going to do is take some black paint and some white. I'm just scooping out some black over here because I have it on two separate plates. All right. So we're going to take our white paint so we have that first white paint is there i'm gonna take a little little bit of black and add it in there because we're gonna get like a medium gray all right so medium gray okay 
Okay, medium gray. Let's see, a little bit darker because we do want it to show. We don't want it to look just like the white. All right, so get that medium gray in there. So this is our medium brush. We're still using that medium flat brush and I'm just mixing up the color. And if you saw my uh, supplies video about beginner painters and acrylic painting, I did recommend using a palette knife. I always just use the brush just because it's quicker. And that's the way I, I was taught when I worked at a paint and studio. So I've gotten used to it. All right. So now we have the color. We're not about to just start using this color, though, because it's going to completely take over. What we want to do is take our paper towel with this gray and dab it off. This is going to help us do the dry brush method. So we're going to dry up this paint, dry up this brush a little bit. It's still going to be some color on, on there, but just not as vibrant. So then we're going to take this color. Let me hide my little banner. And then we're going to start to brush little curve marks. So I'm holding the brush this way. Okay, so like vertically. And then I want to brush across it. So let's see, that's not dark enough because you see how it's not really showing. I'm going to get a little bit more deeper gray. Dab it off because we still want to try that dry brush method. And then curve. You see how I create a curve across it? Curve it like that. Okay. Now I'm going to make mine a little bit darker just because I want you to see it on camera better. I could see it up close, but I want it to be more visible for you to see. Okay, got me a darker gray. Zab it off. All right, so then that's better. So that shows up more. So along the edges, I'm going to slowly make dark gray curves. And it's kind of streaky looking, and that's on purpose. You want it to be streaky looking. That's what that um <clears throat> that gray dry brush method gives you more streaky. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So streaking it out and dab it off some more because I got a little bit too much paint on there. And I'm gonna just spread that color out. But the main thing I want to do is curve it. I don't want to just do a straight line because then you know it doesn't have the shape to it but I want to actually make that more of a U shape or like a smile shape. So I'm going to just smooth that out real quick. Okay. So just making those curves from the edge with that dark gray. Okay. And the same thing with these other ones. So we're not doing the whole thing because we do want some of that light white to come out we don't want to cover the whole thing gray because then it just like defeats the purpose of what we did before but we want both of those showing so dab it off because you really want this to come out looking streaky and then let me actually zoom it in some too there we go and let me make sure i got this in focus or did i set i might have set my auto focus there we go. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I went too far with my focusing. Okay, there we go. It's just in now. I know y'all probably tired of me to like tonight. Like, if she don't stop messing with stuff. Okay. Making that streaky. And then same thing over here. Just curve streaks. Curving streaks. Can y'all tell that I'm a <laughs> perfectionist? I know I keep messing with stuff. Okay, let me leave it alone. All right. Getting these little curved streaks in there, swooping it through, swooping it. Giving us some details. All the way up. Curving it up. 
I saw somebody today talking about um, uh, having or getting a ticket or something, speeding ticket or parking ticket. I forget what ticket it was. But y'all ever have them experiences where you like hear about something and it just immediately takes you back to like something you just wish never happened and you kind of forgot about it? That happened to me because they were talking about, a, I think it was a parking ticket for like parking somewhere they want to propose to. And it took me back to the one time I got told, and like I had forgot about that, but I just remember like that day was just terrible. And like, luckily I had the money at the moment, which was really like credit card money, you know. That's a whole nother conversation about debt. But I think I was in college at the time. I think I was back home visiting. And okay, hold on. Before I get deep in the story. All right, so we are still doing the streakiness and adding a little more. I'm adding a little more here just because I want it to show up a little bit more. Okay, but we want our branches to look streaky and I'm going to zoom out just a tad now that we got that. Because remember, you do want to look at your work from a distance. Sometimes it's going to look different from a distance. It's all about creating illusions. Okay, so we're still doing our streaks. And so basically, I'm going to make it a, I don't want to make it a long story, but <laughs> I was home from college. Me and my sister decided, oh, let's go downtown Chicago to the water tower. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, even though I hated downtown because of parking and this, maybe this story is why I really hate downtown now, but we went and we pull up. I see a spot right out front. I was like, oh, this is just fake. Like, oh, there's a spot right out front. Beautiful. We pull up. We had circled the block a couple times. No, we didn't circle the block. We thought we were going to have to circle the block. We did. Pull up, get out like, yeah, I'm about to go shopping. I don't even remember if I even bought nothing. Like, everything just cost so much anyway. I'm sure my sister did, though. So we just having a good old time. We ate and everything. So we come out. It felt like one of those movies, movie moments where you just come out. And you just be confused. We come out with our little shopping bags on our arms. Like, oh, we just went to Water Tower. And, like, didn't see the car. And so I, it didn't hit me yet. I'm looking around like, where's the car? And so my sister was like, "Uh, it was right here. I'm like, no, nah, it wasn't. Like, let's go down the street a little bit. I'm sure maybe we came out the wrong entrance. Maybe, you know, we forgot where we parked. She's like, no, Liz, it was right here. And I was just like. Where is it at then? So she, it might have got told or stolen. I knew it wasn't stolen because it was a raggedy car. It was old. A bumper was hanging off. It was duct tape on. I knew nobody stole it. Not that. And so I was like, don't tell me. I'm like, it couldn't have been told. Like we had to park in the wrong spot. And then as we standing there talking, looking crazy, some lady comes up to us and was like, oh, did you park over there? Are you looking for your car? I'm like, yeah. She was like, oh, they towed a bunch of cars like five minutes ago. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, there's a um, a sign, you know, no parking, you know, accessible parking or whatever. I'm like, are you serious? And it was like a little hidden sign. You could barely even see. So I was so mad. Hold on, let me pause, y'all, because I'm going to get too deep in the story and we're not even going to be done. All right, so we got the gray on the branches, right? All right, so now we need the black. So we got some black streets in there. So then, same process. So I'm going to dab this off a little bit. I don't even need to completely wash this out. So I'm going to take the black paint, fill up my brush. And then same thing, we're going to dab this off using the dry brush method. And then I'm gonna do some of these too, but not as many as the gray. And so I like to do this like on the right side and then on the left. So you see how, let me see, this goes like right, left, right, left. So it kinda staggers back and forth. And that also makes it look like it's more natural and not just, you know, on purpose. And don't forget to curve it too. Okay, let's do that. All right. So, oh yeah, ladies like, hey, you know, a bunch of cars was just told five minutes ago. So we get over there. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I ain't never had a car towed and I was just confused. And so she's like, oh, you can call the number on the, the sign on the pole. 
So I called them. I'm like, hello, yes, I'm calling to see you about a car. And they're like, okay, license plate, all of that. Gave my information. Like, oh, yeah, it was towed. I'm like, for what? They're like, you were clearly parked in a no parking spot. I'm like, well, that sign was not visible. Didn't see it, you know. Like, well, man, you know, we can't do anything about that. I'm like, all right, so I need my car. Can you bring it to me? <laughs> I didn't know nothing about how towed cars worked. And uh, they were like, you have to go pick it up. I was like, I'm, this has never happened. What do you mean? They was like, go get it. I'm like, how? I don't have a car. How am I going to get it? And they were like, you could take a bus, a cab. I was like, I don't ride the bus. That's why I have a car. I don't even know these bus routes. And then I got to find some cash and then cabs. I was like, oh my, this is too much. I was just so confused and just hurt. And so then me and my sister just ended up calling one of our brothers. And first thing he said was, I'm like, hey, where you at? We uh downtown car got told. He's just like, y'all dumb. <laughs> I was like, can you please come get us? And like, okay, I'm on my way. So he comes. It took him a while. I don't even know how long we were waiting. And finally he comes to pick us up. And then we got to drive to Lower Wacker. And if y'all been in Chicago or live in Chicago, you know that Lower Wacker is a hot mess. And like, it's, it's like a maze. Like you just drive on it forever. And GPS just doesn't know how to give you instructions through it. So you just get lost. So... I felt like we were lost forever before finally getting to the toll yard or whatever. It was late. It was dark. And they were like, okay, you can come inside and locate your car, but only you can come. So then my brother and sister had to wait. And I'm like, it's dark. This looks creepy. So finally I went and found it. And then I had to like pay. I think it was like $150. I forget how much it was. Put that right on credit. I'm like, good thing I had that because otherwise I'd just be messed up. And then what happened after that that was it finally got the car went home um never like drove and parked downtown ever again i think after that i either ubered or used spot hero but they were like be looking out for a ticket because we definitely sending you a ticket and thank god ticket never came so never did get a ticket for that situation and that was my long try to be short getting told story does anybody else have a crazy story of when they got told or got a ticket let me know i got some yeah i haven't gotten many tickets but yeah i got some stories or those like cameras that get you i hate those too okay so we still add in black to our tree this is our flat half inch brush again <coughs> And then we're just adding some streaks to black. But I guess, you know, tickets and towing, they do teach you life lessons. Like I learned to look extremely well for signs next time. Don't assume that they'll be visible. And then I also learned, like, I didn't know about the whole, this was years ago, though. I was a few years younger, but I didn't know about you have to, if a light is red, you know how like you slow down to turn because nobody's coming, you know, but you're in the right lane. And I didn't know until I got a ticket that you're not supposed to just slow down and turn. You have to make a complete stop. And I just was confused. Like they had me on camera and everything. I was like, yeah, this is why you got a ticket. I'm like, for what? What did I do? And then my parents was like, oh yeah, you have to um, make a complete stop. I'm like, what? I didn't remember learning that in school. So got a ticket for that. Okay, I think I'm done with my, my splotches. Okay, I can't wait to see how y'all look. Don't forget to send me a picture once you finish. You can either comment on this video if you're on Facebook. If you're joining in from like Twitch or YouTube, you can message me on social media. You can comment on my page. Let me see. I think I have my social media handle here to make sure y'all can see it. Let's see. There we go. Except this is not sketchbook night. Let me fix that. It's just sketchbook night. We yeah, follow me at Liz Brand Art. And y'all can send me a message with your picture. Okay. So let's see. We got our branches. Give y'all a second to get that going. And then let's see, we want to get to this green next. It's like the finishing touches. 
And then if you feel like you put too much gray or too much black, you can also just go over it with more white using that same brush once it dries up a little bit more. So I'm gonna wait before I do that because I don't want to do too much. I like to wait until the end to get those like finishing touches in there. All right. So we've got our trees. Next, we are going to get on the green. So take your palette and let's see, I'm gonna grab some yellow and some, I promise that's not mustard, it is paint. And then some blue. And let's see what brush. We're going to use our medium to mix it if you're using a brush. But then we're going to use our tiny brush to actually do the green. Um, I keep saying just the green. Do the leaves. All right. So we've got yellow. We've got blue. Next, we're going to just take a little bit of blue at a time and mix it. And that's going to immediately make green. A nice deep green. So the more blue you add the deeper the green is. So for acrylics, as always, we want to start with a deep shade first, and then we're going to lighten it up. All right, so we've got our green. So now I'm going to wipe off as much as I can with the excess. And then we're actually going to use our smaller round detail brush to apply this green. So do I want it this or do I want a deeper green? I think I want to make a little bit deeper green. So I'm going to add a little more blue. You can switch it up. The shade is up to you. I always tell my kids' classes that because we do a lot of painting. Um, well, for my Pokemon art club, especially, they're like, can I add stuff to this? Can I add to the background? Can I change the colors? So I'm like, you can do whatever you like. Like, I'm giving you the foundation, but I just love when you get to go crazy and be creative. All right. So then we're going to take our small round detail brush. And then I'm going to pick up this green. Because now we're using our detail brush to get into these details. Okay. So then I'm just going to start to apply dots where I see it on my picture. Okay. So for example, I like to work left to right and top to bottom so I don't like accidentally rub my arm in something so let's see over here it's kind of cut off but we can put we can start at the bottom and just start to make a bunch of little dots for our leaves and then that will go on top of that little branch too so especially where you have your little branch line sticking out that's where you're going to add paint okay so first we're just going to go through with this deep green and I'm just pressing my brush down. I'm just doing it quickly. And that's why it's broken up so fast. And I'm just putting it next to the branch. Another way we could have done this is to paint the green and, I mean, paint the black background and then the green. But then we would have to still worry about our branches not coming out that bright. So I think this is a good workaround for short painting. So I'm paying attention to the dots where I see the little branches. Now, if you want to start overlapping in some spots, you could do that too. So adding some green. Okay. And then if you all are looking for more tutorials, I am doing this once a month the free virtual paint party, but also I have the painters retreat, which is my membership and my members get access to all of my painting tutorials for the past. Uh, so I have a bunch that have not been released that aren't like free to the public. They're only open to members. So I have about 22 in my library right now. And then I'm always adding a new one each month. So this month I'm actually doing uh, March 15th is the next session. And we're doing a new painting. Let's see, I can probably actually show you here the next painting we're doing. It's going to be, so this picture in the top right. So that is the next one that we're going to do. 
inside the painter's retreat. So on March 15th, I'm gonna have a live session. And so kind of like this basically, and it'll be members only. And we'll get together and paint live and then it'll get added to my vault. So then anybody who's not a member at the time, if they join later, they'll get to see it. But these are paintings that basically I just don't release right away. It's a little bit more exclusive and just a nice way to learn how to paint different things. So if you're interested, March 15th again is the next member's painting session. And we're painting that picture up at the top right. And then let me type in so you can see the name. Let's see. You go to my website, lizbrandart.com. You'll be able to join my membership. Enters retreat. All right, so I'm gonna put that there so y'all can see it. So yeah, as soon as you get to my homepage, it shows up. And that way you can join. It's just $27 a month. You get access to 22. Actually, no, I think it's more than 22 now. It's over 20 lessons in there that you get access to any time day. You can pause and rewind it. And then it's also a new one each month. So now the new one getting added is March 15th. And members get to join in and paint with me live. Okay, so we're still adding this green. See, so if you have any questions about that, feel free to pop it in the comments or send me a question or send me a message if you have any questions about it. Let's see. But yeah, if you go there, you'll also notice I do have um, my other lessons for sale, my older lessons. So if you're not a member, they are 20, no, $37 each. But as a member for $27 a month, you get access to all of them. Okay, so we got this green. All right, y'all. So now, so this is the deep green. And again, this is just like the foundation of the leaves and we're going to build this up with some brighter colors too i just don't want to start overlapping too quick then you know it kind of gets carried away i'm gonna overlap just a little bit and then let's see I'm gonna put some darker green here. And here. I really wanna make sure that these little branches get covered. Okay. I think that's where I want all those to go for now. I sum up here. I'm gonna put a little more here and let that overlap some to make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'll do we got some here. And then down at the bottom. It's a little oops. Put a little bit too much blue and put a little more green on this side. And then a little more here. Okay. All right. So that's the deep green. Okay. So deep green is going to be there. And then now we're gonna start to add some lighter green. So for this, since we already have some green mixed, we can still use that small liner brush for that lighter green. So we have the green, 
I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of white and mix it into it. And that's gonna give us a lighter green. Mix it in there. Okay. All right, so lighter green. Now we're gonna go on top of, let me not sit this on the computer. Let's go on top of the green we made and we're not gonna cover completely. So just like when we did the branches, we didn't cover everything with the gray. We're not gonna cover all the dark green with the light green. We're gonna have some spots that show just to make sure that it stands out. So then you see how from a distance you can really see that start to pop. So that's what we're doing. So you just want to carefully space these out. And then it creates that illusion of highlights. Nice. Okay. I'm liking this one better than this one I did before. Because before when I did it, I was just making like a quick example. And I used a bigger brush my dots and so it all kind of just like morphed together and so then I was like no this time I'm gonna do it with a small brush and just take my time and not try to do it in five minutes and I knew I would like it better so we're just going on over each area of green and making those dots I've been doing a lot of planning lately for kids' summer camps, and it had me thinking, like, I wish it was, like, some adult summer camps. I guess what they call it is, like, conferences or seminars or maybe workshops. Some workshops is what they call it. But, yeah, I, I think I might want to put together some, like, adult art workshops that would be, like, fun, like, summer camp. Because, like, shoot, I would like to do some of the things that the kids get to do in art class. So let me know if y'all got ideas of what would you like to see for an adults art camp slash workshop. Ooh, okay, I like this. I like this shade of green better than the green, the green I had before. I just put too much yellow before and I didn't really like how bright it came out and I really wanted to make sure it was dark enough to contrast with the branches because since the branches are so light it doesn't make sense to make the leaves so light too because then it all just kind of like blurs together all right okay get nice and close to the branches too or even on top because you don't want it to look spaced out and like really look like you just went around it and creating that halo effect so really get up next to the branches Make it look more natural. Okay. I'm put some on top of there. I'm liking it. Okay. Nice. And then after this, we're going to do a slightly lighter shade. So if you're still working on that, keep going. But I'm going to show you that I'm going to take the white and make the green a little more light. I want to use that really, really light shade of green to finish off with highlights. Okay. So then now I'm going to pop up on top. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. I was about to see if we need to go any lighter, but I really like that. Okay. I'm very sing songy if y'all haven't learned that already. Sometimes makes me think like, oh, maybe I could teach preschool or kindergarten, but then I'm like, nope, because I don't have that much energy. Like I can have it, but it is short lived and those kids have way too much more energy than me. Okay, so then we're dabbing this light green. It's coming to life. Let's make sure we overlap some too because we want it to look more natural and not just like in between 
and looking like it's an afterthought. We want it to look purposeful. Dabbing that in there. I'm really liking this. Seven, nine, nice let me zoom this out a little bit too because i tell y'all it's all about illusions let's see what that is looking like let's see i like that yeah i'm really liking this shade of green i use now nice so yeah if you want to make this even more bold Oh, you know what? I forgot this last one. Let me add a little bit of gray on there. I just realized I didn't touch that branch at all. And then I'm going to show you a way to make your branches even more bold so that they don't just like fade into the background. Because like, of course, they are like the background features, but they really make the painting come to life. Okay, so to make it even more bold, we can take a thin liner brush okay and we can make sure our brush is clean and take some white paint but we're just going to highlight a couple areas with white and that's something you can kind of see here i did it along the edge and that just makes it stand out even more and that'll be our last step before we sign our name this is a fairly quick painting another way to do this that's also really nice is a blue background. So you have like a daylight and a nighttime painting. So I'm gonna go against the edge of just straight white paint and just bring it out. And it's okay that I'm not making like a straight line either. Well, that's definitely an accident, but <laughs> again, branches curve. They're not perfectly straight lines, so that's okay. I'm going to take that in just a little bit more, but that just kind of helps it have a more of a highlight, make it pop, as I always say. And then we can do the same thing with these other ones. We can even take some of those lines in too. Yeah, as y'all finish these, make sure you send them to me because I definitely want to show them off. I've been making collages and showing off each month's paintings. I showed off January and February. It is March. It's time to show off a March painting. I've also already posted the painting for April. It's going to be hot air balloon painting, which is a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do a hot air balloon painting. So I think that'd be cute. So I'm going against the edge, bringing some of that paint into it. I feel like these spots make me think of cows. Bring those out. You could even go over the branches again too, the little thin ones if yours kind of disappeared a little. I'm just making some streaky lines in there. Making those stand out. Oop, I put a lot there, but you know what? I'm going to make it work. I'm tempted to put some white on these leaves, but I don't want to ruin it. But I'm going to show you what it looks like in case you want to. Because that'll just make it even more bright. But it'll make it like really, really light if you did straight white. It's kind of cool. It's kind of bright too though. I don't know. Let me see. 
I do this a lot. I just experiment and try things. And then if I don't like it, I'll just let it dry and paint over it again. But I kind of like adding the white. So look, I'm going to do that. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I just want it to look a little bit brighter from distance. You could also do this with like a lighter shade of green and maybe adding a little yellow in there. All right, so these are our finishing touches. Don't forget, send me a picture so I can share your work. And if you're looking for more painting lessons from me, join the Painter's Retreat. Because on the 15th, I got our next session coming up. I'm going to learn that beautiful painting. And then in the meantime, you can also join my Facebook group. And it's acrylic painting with Liz Brent. That's my free group to share your work as well. Okay. All right, that's it. Now, the tricky part is figuring out where to actually sign it because I have so much white and so much black. Maybe like black paint. Lately, though, I've been just using, I know a lot of people like don't use something else when you paint, but I like to use a Sharpie. But make sure the paint is dry first. It makes it just easier to assign your name. You could also use a paint marker, which I do that sometimes too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put it in a nice little place. So this is today's painting, Birch Trees. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And please share your pictures with me because, you know, I love to see it. Um, hope y'all had a good time. So join me again. I have painters retreat. The next members painting is November. I said November. I need to eat y'all. March of 15th. But also the next free paint session is April. Okay, I think that's it. So let's see. And then share your work, post it in the comments. You can pop into my Facebook group and show your work there too. Acrylic painting with Liz Brent. And I think that's it. Any questions before we go? I always like to leave room at the end for y'all to ask me any random questions. If y'all struggling with your painting, let me know in the comments too before we go. And that way, I don't miss anything. All right. So I think that's it. So everybody take care. I hope you have a good night. And I'm going to see y'all next time. All right. Bye, everybody.